today we are going to cover the method grouping by as part of the collectors class okay what it will do let me tell uh, let me tell you like what what it, what the grouping by uh, method will do okay so what it will do here as part of the partitioning by we are taking the predicate but as part of the grouping by it will group the elements of the stream uh, based on the function whatever here uh, in the, while using the partitioning by it is taking one predicate this is a condition based on the condition it is partitioning but in case of grouping by it will take one function function means what whenever it provides uh, will provide the input then it will produce some output result right but in case of predicate it's a boolean rule function okay so uh, that function predicate uh, supplier consumer i have covered already as part of the um, functions uh, package right so if you have any kind of kind of doubt then you can visit my previous uh, tutorial so that it will be clear function uh, function uh, predicate supplier consumer all these things you can check okay so let's proceed with the group by let me first comment all these things today we will work with working with collectors dot grouping by okay grouping by this is the method we are going to work today okay so what i will do i will print uh, sorry i will uh, take the list uh, the source this is the source it may be a something uh, it the source can be anything here but here we are taking the list as the source what it will do will perform the in order to group uh, from the out of out from the source what we have to do we have to pop, uh, make the stream out of the that what i can what we can do stream we have to call the stream method then uh, we have to collect collect so inside that collectors collectors dot what we want to do we want to perform group by okay so let me tell you group by grouping by grouping by here what it will take it will take three uh, like three overloaded methods that is there grouping by grouping by it will take one function another thing is like group by function and uh, it will take one downstream as uh, as we have seen like uh, partitioning by and other things also that is there okay so that we are going to see overloader method also we are going to see as part of this video okay so what we'll do we'll take uh, some function function means if you provide the stream uh, like string then what it will do it will just return me as a response what is the mean by function function whatever will provide the uh, some input then it will give me some result okay that is the meaning of the functions okay so what it will do if we provide the string for example here the string it is going to provide me the length okay this is the length uh, we are getting so based on this length it will group so what we are doing we are calling collectors dot grouping by so if we get the string here it is a string object so we are finding the length whatever the length we have whatever the string it is coming okay what it will do it will group based on the length we are providing uh, we are providing the string it will find the length based on the length what it will do it will uh, uh, it will group okay for example uh, we got the first string as o any one the length is three the three is the uh, so what it will do three is the length and then uh, the group the uh, value will be one okay three is the uh, kind of if, if you if i tell you like this is a map so you can think of three is the key and value is the uh, one For second example two two is three so similarly three will be the key then the same it will come as three then two okay similarly this uh, like this it will be uh, group okay i hope you got the point right so let me it is the the return type of this uh, what it will be the return type the group by uh, it will do based on the length length is what integer and uh, the whatever the whatever the thing the elements we are going to uh, group that is the none other than the string string uh, many strings are there so that is a list so it's a map of integer and string okay if i assign if i introduce the local variable if i assign you can see you can see this is a integer map of integer and list of string okay uh, so so if i print this print this collect okay if i print this what you are going to see 
थ्री फोर फाइव व्हाट एवर द थ्री एलिमेंट द लेंथ द स्ट्रिंग इज हैविंग दैट इट विल ग्रुप ओके लेट मी रन एंड शो यू ओके सो आज यू कैन सी सी थ्री इज द थ्री बेस्ड ऑन द की लाइक व्हाट एवर द लेंथ वी हैव व्हाट एवर द फंक्शन वी हैव प्रोवाइडेड सो व्हाट इट इज डूइंग इट इज कैलकुलेटिंग द लेंथ बेस्ड ऑन द लेंथ लेंथ इज थ्री व्हाट एवर द थ्री एलिमेंट थ्री लेंथ स्ट्रिंग आर दे दे आर ग्रुपिंग वन इन टू ए सिंगल ग्रुप ओके एंड फोर लेंथ इज हैविंग ग्रुपिंग द एलिमेंट्स व्हिच इज हैविंग द फोर लेंथ सिमिलरली द फाइव लेंथ ओके सो आई होप लाइक यू क्लियर विद दिस यूज केस राइट सो ओके so that is for this uh, group, grouping by taking one function okay and there are some other overloaded function also uh, other overloaded grouping by method is also there what it will do it will take the function as well as the uh, downstream okay what what do you mean by like let me tell you what do you mean by downstream downstream is something uh, we have collected here we got the uh, result okay on the on top of the if we are getting some result on top of the result if we want to perform some other um, operation so here we are calling the terminal operations okay so but here is grouping by and other things we are doing and uh, here is the intermediate operations kind of things we want to perform then we can uh, we can make use of the uh, downstream okay so if basically if we want to perform certain kind of operations on a result then we we should use we use the concept like downstream okay so that we are going to learn today and learn now okay so let me let me uh, write the same list dot stream then dot collect collectors dot group ping by here the same thing we will take same thing we will take s dot length same same thing we will take and uh, what we will take uh, downstream so okay so here uh, we are uh, like we are taking this uh, grouping based on the key based on the length okay right so uh, but uh, while grouping all these things we are separating by comma that is the default okay so if if i am uh, if i do some kind of things like uh, if i want every element should be separated with some uh, delimiter right so if i take the uh, the element is separated by some delimiter then wh what are the things we are going to uh, write as a downstream so how we can achieve that for example what i what my what i mean to say that so for example these are the two string i am showing you here okay these are the two string if i want to join the two string so uh, separate the two string for example this is the things i just wanted to take okay between this one string and this two string and one and two i want this kind of representation okay so how we can achieve that we have already learned this concept so how we can achieve this is the things it is joining this two string so we we i have already explained the concept of joining right that is the intermediate operation we are going to perform with the help of downstream okay so what we can do we can we will provide here here we will provide the uh, the downstream always represented by the collectors collectors dot joining okay joining and what is the delimiter what is the delimiter delimiter is delimiter is the um, uh, what we can say uh, like whatever the things i have passed just now okay now let me let me assign one uh, with one uh, variable okay introduce one local variable this is the uh, this is the uh, integer and this is the string okay uh, we are going to get if i print that collect uh, one then if i run and show you like will you will see how we are getting so what what my intention here is uh, what we are doing we are collecting this is uh, this is group first it is grouping by based on the uh, length then then we are calling the uh, downstream operation right why we are performing some downstreaming operation on the result whatever the things we are we have got 1 2 3 and this is the things we got first then on top of that what we are doing we are joining all the 
elements with the this symbol right now you can see three is the key then one two three six ten whatever the things uh, it is grouping then we are representing based on this okay so this is how we can do work with this one uh, uh, downstream operations okay with the overloaded grouping by okay if i show you another uh, example then uh, i have to show you these things okay so let me show you another example with the this overloaded methods okay so for uh, for this time so what we have done we have uh, separated uh, we have joined each string with some delimiter right now uh, what i want here is like i want i want to once we grouped the string we, we got the string based on the uh, length then we want to perform we want to make each and every string to two upper okay so how we can do that so once we grouped based on the string uh, based on the length then what it will do it will make the elements in based on the it will make the grouping based on the uh, based on the length then in order to perform some other operations and what we have to do we have to use the uh, downstream operations right for that what we are going to do we are going to collectors dot what we want to perform we want to perform to two upper so for that we need to map mapping mapping so what we want to perform if we provide s the s is the string if we get then we want to perform s dot two uppercase two uppercase yes two uppercase we are going to perform okay so if i okay so once we perform then how we are, we want to perform, uh, how we want to collect once we perform the two upper then we are going to uh, pass like we want to collect as a list so for that we want to perform, perform like to a list collectors dot to list okay this is the things we just wanted to do okay asking one more okay we have not closed okay fine now okay yes so this is the closing for this and this is the for this okay fine uh, so what we have done like we are uh, grouping uh, first we are grouping then we are making uppercase and we are collecting as a string okay let me run and show you the output okay you will see the same thing this kind of thing with uppercase okay so as you can see three and first we are grouped then we are making the uh, string each and every string with two two upper so similarly like this we can play around this uh, with this uh, uh, grouping by grouping by method of the collectors class okay i hope like this can this is pretty much for this uh, grouping by method of collectors class so so how we can this is i, I have already told as part of this uh, collectors uh, collectors class whatever the method that is there as part of the collector class i am going to provide the basic idea so that you will be familiar with the concept how we can make use of, make use of the method right so so going forward uh, at the end we will see the real time use case so let me tell you what are the use uh, just a glance I, I just wanted to tell you like here by using this grouping by how we can make use of uh, in case of real time example okay for example we have a we have a employee we just wanted to map we map the employee like we want to group the employee based on the uh, based on the department so here what we are to we are going to get here if we provide the employee object we are going to group based on the employee department a emp employee employee dot get department instead of uh, instead of this length what we can do employee dot get department that we can group okay it will group based on the department okay so that no 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 worries so i just provided a glance but that things we are going to cover at the end of this uh, uh, collectors class completion okay so that's all for this video we'll meet in the next class with a new collectors methods okay thank you